Hey guys, it's the RC Genius. Welcome to another video, and today I am not doing a how to video, but I'm doing basically the project that I've started for myself. Now, this project's pretty easy. We're basically converting um, two of my monster trucks. In this video, we'll only be doing one, but uh, I've been converting two of my Traxxas monster trucks to the new top qualifier 2.4 gigahertz remote. Now, the old remotes were the, um, uh, what were they? Let's see. They were these style remotes, the one with the long and extendable antenna, and these were the 27 megahertz um, remotes, and they're not as good as these ones because um, these ones can go uh, a longer distance, and they don't take eight batteries, they take four, they don't have an expendable antenna, many reasons why this one's better. And um, I've actually, off camera, I've converted the Grave Digger truck and the Tamiya RC car. I basically just swapped the two systems that were in that. So now the Tamiya RC car has the 27 megahertz one, and then the Grave Digger has the newer version, which we put in the Tamiya RC car already um, to begin with. But today, all we're going to do is just swap these out, and uh, it should be a pretty simple uh, procedure. Um, actually, here is the business card to uh, the store that I bought the uh, um, remote from. I actually got it online. I don't live close to this place at all. But um, this came from Emmy Hobbies. They're in uh, Florida. And it says they're open every day. There's their number, uh, website, um, etc. So... Check them out because I was very pleased with the quality of the packaging that they did um, for this. I the pa This came fulfilled by Amazon. I ordered it from Amazon.com, but it came from them, so they were selling it on Amazon. Perfectly fine. I'm very pleased with how it came. So, yeah. Now, I'm also very pleased that it came with batteries. I was not aware that I was buying those. And, of course, I got the um, receiver with it all for, like, like under under 60 bucks, I think. Or maybe, no, it was just around $60, actually. So, what we're going to do, we just need to open up the receiver box. And then um, just swap the two systems out, really. Um, we'll, we'll have to bind up the, uh, we will have to bind the remote and the receiver, the new ones. Uh, but that's going to be pretty simple, no big deal, so let's just uh, start taking this off. I'm actually, uh, I think I'll actually take uh, this all out. I'll take the cover off, uh, off camera, because I've done it so many times on camera, you guys know how to do it, so let me cut the video and pick right back up once this is off. Okay, so I've taken the cover off. I've also taken um, the cap that goes here to cover the wires when they're exiting the uh, receiver box. Now this is the old style receiver. Not many of these uh, are still around simply because they're just the old type. I mean I know they still exist. You can still buy them um, because people still have these vehicles but I don't think everybody changes them to the new uh, remotes and receiver. Basically the difference is uh, you have a computer chip uh, which is right here. You have a computer chip. You can see the blue tag right there. Um, there is one in the receiver and one in the remote. The two of them are connected, so you don't have to bind the remote to the receiver. It's just the same chip connects to each other, um, and basically you have different colors. So if someone has a green, you have a blue, you'll run without getting interference. But I believe that if there's two blue colors, you get interference from that. Um, so, you know, that's just kind of how it works, but really, no worries about that, because, um, it simply really just was a fine system during that time, and when I first got it, I mean, there was absolutely nothing wrong, but now that there is a, uh, better version of it, you know, not that you always have to have the latest and greatest, but in this case, there's not much you can do when you have this older system and you can't even go halfway down the street with it. So, I'm using this uh, pick tool right here. I'm using this to kind of pry the 
receiver gently off of the sticky tape that it's on down here. Um, as a matter of fact, is this one on Velcro? It almost sounds like this one's on Velcro. Yeah, this one's on Velcro. Wow. Okay. That's definitely different than any others. Um, actually, just when I did the Gravedigger one today, that one didn't even have Velcro, so that's pretty cool. So, um, we are going to just simply replace it with some electrical tape, uh, double-sided. Um, so, we're not going to keep this Velcro because we don't have the other side to it anyways. So, it really got it stuck in there, though. While I'm doing this, however, I would also like to just really thank everyone for getting me to 100 subscribers. It still hasn't quite set in yet. Um, I still can't believe it. It's so incredible that I'm at 100 subscribers now. So, truly, truly thank you to everyone who is involved in getting me into 100 subscribers. We're now at 103, just like every morning. I wake up and I see the channel and it's just going up one by one so soon enough we'll get to that big four digit number and I can't wait for that day here's the new uh, 6519 receiver um, we are going to put some electrical tape so I'm just gonna take electrical tape and in case you guys didn't know this lots of you probably would know this um, but all you have to do to make your own double sided tape is just take a piece like this just fold it back and then fold the other side over and then just like that you have a piece of double sided tape right there and you didn't even have to pay for double sided tape you just made it with a regular piece and there we go receivers in there not going to come out very easily um, just by shaking around so that's very nice now um, oh we don't even actually, oh wait, no, there it is. I was like, where's the water seal? The water seal is right here. So let's go ahead and um, put the water seal on. Okay, so water seal in the little uh, crevice that it has for itself there. Now we're going to run the antenna through the new, or sorry, the new antenna through the um, receiver box. Um, now, what we want to do here is we want to have these two wires feed through the uh, cover. So, just going to go in through there. Perfect. Alright, now, uh, let's see, which one is this? This is going to be receiver, or sorry, uh, servo. So, servo goes to channel 1. Always remember that servo goes to channel 1, the one second from the bottom. And then you also have the, obviously, the throttle, which goes um, on channel number 2. And there's only one channel number 2 on here. So, just slide that in. Alright, perfect. And now, I think... We can just put this, uh, wait, nope, we can't yet, because we need to put our, or we need to bind the two, uh, together. So we're just going to slide our antenna th through, um, the antenna tube, and then we're just going to set the antenna in there. And now, look at that, perfect. Okay, slide that back. Now we have our brand new remote. We're going to have to start labeling remotes because I've got so many of these same remotes. Um, we're going to have to start labeling them. Alright. Brand new shiny remote. And then we also have got, of course, the AA batteries that came with it. We're going to use those because these were included with it, so why not use them? One thing that I certainly like about this uh, type of transmitter or remote is that it only takes four batteries rather than eight in the um, 28 or 27 megahertz radio system all right we're in Duracell batteries slide open the bottom and now just put in 
are two uh, battery or four batteries, sorry. And then slide that in, turn it on. Let's make sure it works. Perfect. Okay, you guys should probably know the routine. I've gone through this several times in videos. Sorry, the camera just shook. I had to grab a battery from underneath the table. Got a battery, hook up the battery. You guys should know this process. If not, I will go into more detail in a video that uh, I did on the channel, which is simply just how to link a transmitter to a receiver. Really easy to do. Basically, you just press and, uh, actually no, on the remote first, you press and hold the red set button while you turn the remote on. You will get a flashing red light. Then just press and hold the link button on the receiver while you turn the uh, truck on. And then you are good. Now, something I've noticed is, at least on the uh, two monster trucks, is I'm going to have to reset, uh, recalibrate the XL5 uh, speed control. So how I do that is I just um, turn the vehicle off, press and hold on the uh, easy set button until it goes red, then turn it off. Now turn the remote on and press and hold full power till it flashes red. Reverse, there like that. And there we go, guys. We have now got um, our vehicle. That's, that's really it. I mean, we did it. Finally, we have converted these trucks. That's pretty much all there is to it, you guys. I mean, it's very basic. It's very simple um, to do. It's something definitely worth doing. You guys don't have to see me put this back on at all, but I just wanted to share this with you. I haven't uploaded in a couple days. Thank you, everyone, for 100 subscribers. Again, really means so much to me. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on the RCD Genius.